Right now, we want to head out to Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, we're going to be listening in to Fox's David Spud, who's right outside of Mar-a-Lago. David, we got this uh, really late filing last night by the Department of Justice responding uh, to former President Trump and his team's request for a special master, to which the DOJ replied that the items uh, that were seized uh, and the request for the special master fails for multiple independent reasons. What more do we know? Okay, so to just bring everybody up to speed on what a special master is, we've heard the term thrown out very loosely. A special master is a third party uh, neutral arbiter, someone that's not related to the case. It may be a retired judge or an attorney that's local, uh, that might be from Florida, that would come in, look at the evidence that was taken from Mar-a-Lago behind me on August 8th and see what's not directly related to the scope of the investigation and potentially return that information back to the former president because he wants it. Um, as far as where we are now, as you mentioned, before midnight, the Department of Justice filed this 36 uh, page document, which showed a photograph for the first time of some of those documents that were taken uh, from Mar-a-Lago. If we could put that up and in that photograph, uh, you can see a bunch of documents that are labeled top secret um, and, and other types of secret classifications. Now, to be clear, it was in a, a uh, carton before it was photographed. So it's not like agents walked in and saw all these documents laying out on the floor at Mar-a-Lago. But still, it's to show the public and show the judge what was inside those cartons. And, and a Trump attorney... Uh, Andrew attested, signed her name a few months ago to a document saying all the uh, classified documents had been removed from Mar-a-Lago in June. And the government came in in August and claimed to have found boxes and boxes and hundreds of pages of more classified documents, some even in the desk of the former president, not even secure, not in any folders and whatnot. So that's where we are right now. Yeah, David, I think it's so interesting. So Fox News DOJ producer Jake Gibson uh, was saying yesterday uh, that essentially this photo, uh, it's unclear, you know, where and when, where in Mar-a-Lago it was taken, when after the raid it was taken, to which the former president uh, is responding on his social media platform, Truth Social. Today, he says there seems to be confusion as to the quote unquote picture where documents were sloppily thrown on the floor and then released photographically for the world to see as if that's what the FBI found when they broke into my home. Uh, you know, do you think the former president is kind of looking too much into this? Uh, I was kind of uh, surprised yesterday that uh, the DOJ filing did include this photo. Yeah, I don't know if anybody really expected to see a photograph, but it is standard procedure for FBI agents or any type of investigative bodies to remove what's inside something that you can't see with the naked eye if it's covered with a, a cover or in a box and take photographs of that right there. So that's what was done here. So that was what was inside the boxes. Uh, we are not reporting that FBI agents came in and saw all of these documents thrown all over the floor. If some people want to do that, they're wrong. That's not really what happened. It's just those were the documents inside a carton that's what the former president is saying, and that is true, is that those documents were not laying out like that. But the Department of Justice is saying at the end of the day, it's the fact that, you know, he had the documents at Mar-a-Lago when those documents didn't belong to him. They belong to the United States government. Yeah, and also, David, I thought it was so interesting. You've been covering this story since August 8th, uh, and you alluded to Christina Bob attesting that all the classified documents have been removed from Mar-a-Lago, to which in the filing yesterday, the DOJ said that was not the case and then went even so far as to claim obstruction. What did you make of that? Well, they are saying that the former president likely obstructed along with some associates. Um, specifically, uh, you know, one would infer that they're talking about Christina Bob. I mean, they've mentioned Christina Bob and the fact that she attested when they say a Trump lawyer attested. We've seen that she did attest to the fact that nothing was taken. Um, it's not clear if she might say that that's what my boss told me. That's what the former president told me, that they were all gone. But the fact of the matter is they were not all gone by early June, because in early June, a DOJ team came down here of attorneys and met with the Trump team. And the former president himself came in to the meeting. Uh, but at some point, those negotiations broke down. DOJ felt they were not getting a candid response as of what was going on. And that's what happened with this search behind me on, on the 8th of August, just a few weeks ago.
Okay, David, just lastly, because this is interesting, because uh, there's going to be this hearing tomorrow sure. about whether uh, the Trump team will, um, you know, get approved for a special master. Now, the DOJ, though, uh, a couple of days ago, I believe Monday, was saying essentially they had already acted uh, and did what a special master would have already done, looking through the documents, seeing what could be returned. So where do we think this is going tomorrow? Will a judge grant that request? So a special master, as I said, is a neutral third party arbiter. The Department of Justice has its own neutral third party arbiter as part of DOJ. It's called a filter team. It's kind of separate from the DOJ investigation. They look through to make sure everything was done uh, up to snuff above par. They're arguing that they had a full two plus weeks to look through everything. Their filter team went through everything. Uh, they found some items that were attorney client privileged and there's no need for a special master. The Trump team says they don't want anything to do with the Department of Justice uh, having their hands on anything. That's why they're asking for the special master. It's really up to the judge. I can't answer as far as what's going to happen because it's up to Judge Eileen Cannon, a federal judge appointed, ironically, by then President Donald Trump. Um, but Judge Cannon preliminarily agreed to uh, moving forward with a special master. That was a preliminary agreement. She's going to hear arguments from both sides and you know, the Trump team has to respond by eight o'clock tonight, Eastern time. So just under two hours on why, you know, they don't think or why they do think, excuse me, a special master is in order. All right. Uh, and we will be covering it here on live now from Fox a little bit later on and bringing on legal experts. Uh, Fox's David Smunt there live for us in Palm Beach. Thank you as always. You're very welcome. Take care.